now. New details in the arrest of two teens who are accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a woman in Northwest Harris County. 17 year old Olvin Rodriguez and a 16 year old boy are now facing charges in connection to that attack. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live downtown outside the Harris County Jail with new information on what he's uncovered tonight. Bryce. Keith, tonight that 17 year old is being held here in the Harris County Jail on a $300,000 bond after this horrifying crime that has some Northwest Harris County neighbors rattled. This is the sleepy dead end where two teenagers allegedly sexually assaulted a 25 year old woman they didn't know after kidnapping her at gunpoint. As the woman pulled into her driveway from a concert in the early morning hours of September 2nd, investigators say the teens walked up with a gun and forced her back into the car. They drove to Lauren Lane in Northwest Harris County, sexually assaulting her on the way and once there, beating her when she tried to run away, then stole her car and personal belongings including her cell phone. I'm in shock. I'm terrified. It's so dark back there and it's so easy for somebody to go back there and do commit crimes. A neighbor who asked us not to use her name or show her face remembers seeing the investigation unfold. It makes me very sad, very sad, very scary. The woman's family called 911 after she didn't return home and her phone's location was pinging elsewhere. Court documents show her mother and brother found her naked near a bush. 17 year old Olvin Rodriguez and a 16 year old boy investigators are not naming because of his age. Now charged with aggravated robbery, aggravated sexual assault and aggravated kidnapping. Stand up, sir. Rodriguez making his first court appearance last night when prosecutors said he admitted to the crimes and his attorney said he has many mental health concerns. But for neighbors, this sleepy dead end is starting to feel anything but. I just don't understand how we were not notified of this going on out back here. You know, that's scary. And investigators say they were able to track down Rodriguez because he was using the victim's phone still off and on during certain periods, which sent them to a home about 15 minutes away from the crime scene. And according to court documents, this suspect has now also admitted to committing a similar crime in the same neighborhood last month. He's expected back in court on Monday. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.